We go into uh, a more specific uh, issue now, and that is the, the nature of iron supply and the importance of that for fertilizers. And so we've been looking in the framework of software at a number of uh, issues, including uh, phosphorus and also iron. And so I am delighted to have um, on the table next to me here, uh, Lukas Ramta, who is from, uh, he's a biotechnologist from Agrana Research. Um, he's been looking at uh, a number of solutions uh, moving forward in, uh, in terms of innovation. He's uh, joined by uh, Rüdiger Weichesmüller from Agrana Starch. So um, Rüdiger is responsible for fertilizers at Agrana and is a product manager and uh, key account manager for the fertilizer division. So they'll be guiding us through uh, the significance of iron supply for fertilizers. Lucas, the floor is yours. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Well, let me give you a short introduction into the iron supply as an added value bio-based fertilizer. Well, to begin, iron is an essential component for plants. It is um, a cofactor for a lot of enzymes and also used for cyt uh, cytochrome production and chlorophyll production. You can see very well in the pictures there that um, with uh, iron deficiency, there is less uh, chlorophyll in the leaves of this grape uh, wine. Well, where is um, iron deficiency the most common? It's in Mediterranean uh, countries with a lot of lime in the soil, which has uh, which makes the pH uh, over seven, and therefore the iron is uh, bound as insoluble. Um, uh, iron oxide. Uh, furthermore, the bicarbonate um, affects the iron uptake with the same effect that it um, uh, alkalizes the soil or it buffers the soil to a pH a little bit over seven and therefore hinders the iron um, uptake of the plants. Well, what does the plant what do and what can the farmer do? The farmer can, for example, ventilate the soil and expel the CO2 by uh, plowing it, and therefore um, reducing the uh, buffering effect of the bicarbonate. Or uh, he can use artificial iron supply in the form of um, EDTA, uh, in essence, it's uh, like a sequestrine 138. What can the plant do? What does the plant do in nature? It decreases um, the pH around its uh, root network uh, with the um, by uh, expulsion of organic acids or a, a cider, of course. There are some uh, specific plants which can do that very well. And but what has to do with bio-based fertilizer? Well, iron is an essential element of life. And bio-based fertilizers are made of, out of these organic substances that therefore have a natural iron complex, even if it's only in trace amounts. The availability for plants uh, therefore depends mostly on the raw material and the soil environments, um, be it the, bio, uh, the microbiome or the uh, pH of the soil around it. And well, as a good example for, for um, Bio-based fertilizer, which has no problems in um, inhibiting the iron chlorosis, we have bioginosol by us. So thank you for the invitation and the introduction. Let's go in detail for the product bioginosol, which is produced by Agrana. Bioganazole itself is an organic fertilizer. It's, it's fully plant-based, so free from animal components. It is certified in uh, for organic agriculture in several markets in Europe. It is produced by Agrana Starch in Austria in Fischelsdorf, where we have our bioethanol plant. So Agrana is mixing several byproducts from their uh, plants, um, like from the bioethanol plant, the PDGS, the so-called um, the DDGF, the, the dried distillers grains soluble, which is based on wheat and corn, and also some other liquid products, for example, the residual molasses from the sugar beet factory, the potato nitrogen concentrate, and the corn starch liquor for our potato and 
cornstarch factories. We are mixing these products wet and drying them together and achieving some granules and <coughs> materials. The nutrient composition from biogenosol is about 5.5% nitrogen, 2.5% phosphorus, and 1.5% potassium, with at least 90% organic substance. It has also a natural iron content, uh, which origins from the raw materials and is available for the plants. We have several existing markets like Austria, Germany, Italy, Spain, Greece, the Netherlands, Poland, where we have also our distributors and partners. And we are also having some uh, markets which are under development at the moment, like France and uh, Bulgaria, Hungary, for example. The main areas for application are vegetable cultivation for cash crops like spinach, cabbage, also fruit and berry cultivation, for example, apples and viticulture, salt and substrate for the fine material to achieve a bit more of um, organic matter into fertilizers and also into salts, herbs, sugar beets, and sports green areas, for example, for soccer, we are at um, the FC Sevilla and also in Austria for the Lask Linz. The benefits of these products are to promote humus development and soil health. Biogenosol also has a fast initial effect, so the, um, so the, the uh, mineralization curve from the nitrogen is also uh, rapid, increasingly, and also have a long-lasting effect for the next two or three years. It has also an adequate nutrient supply. It is already effective at low temperatures, which is, for example, necessary for uh, cultivating spinach in February. It has a pleasant odor, so it is a not stinky fertilizer. It is organic and fully vegan. No danger of overfertilization, harmless for humans and animals. And also, we have measured in several trials that last year's no nitrogen leachate. And it is preventive against iron chlorosis, which are be shown by the results of the trials throughout the project Salzburg. Um, we did several trials throughout the project Salzburg in viticulture and fruits, for example, orange and kiwi in Italy. Uh, the trials were done with the University of Natural Resources and Life Sciences, the Poco in Turin for Vienna, and also with Landlab here in Italy. Uh, we did this trial several years in glasshouse and field trials. And for example, you can see on the right side of this uh, presentation slide, two pictures. Um, we were mixing for a trial with viticulture, the soil with approximately 30% of calcium carbonate. And on the picture on the above, you can see the roots from the uh, viticulture trial with mineral fertilizer and on the below the roots from the trial with bioorganosol. So we achieved every year vigorous plants and also a great root growth. Also the yields were every time comparable to mineral fertilizer and iron chlorosis could not be detected over the years and many more. So if you are interested into our fertilizer product bioorganosol and if you have um, another questions, do not hesitate to contact me. Thank you.